Let's reimagine the classic fable, the classic story of the tortoise versus the hare. We all know the story. That's right, the, the let's just say the rabbit and the turtle. The turtle and the rabbit. They went on this race, right? Everyone's watching this race. And the turtle's slow, we all know that. My last name is Shell. You know, imagine me with the turtle shell. This is my car I've been driving for 13 years of this month. And it's green and it's kind of like a turtle. So when I think of turtles, it's kind of close to me. So the turtle, he's slow. He's, he's racing someone who's noticeably faster than he is. Everybody knows this. But we all know what happens in the race. The rabbit got so far ahead in the race that he took a nap. And the turtle, going so slow, managed to win the race because the, the rabbit took advantage of his speed and therefore was ignorant of the fact that the turtle actually had a chance of winning, which he did. The rabbit should have just took his nap after he won, but it wouldn't have been an interesting story as it is and stood the test of time if that would have been what happened. So, beat me to the punchline. Go ahead, right now in your mind, where's it going with this? Hair loss, tur towards in the hair. Okay, if you haven't figured it out, here it is. Because remember, I believe all people are easily, can easily be reduced to psychology. We can easily de determine what people are about to say, what, what, by what motivates them, what their fears are, what encourages them. We all can be easily reduced to psychology, but we don't use the superpower because we're too focused on silly superficial stuff that doesn't matter. Like, he disrespected me just then. He hurt my feelings. Unless you're Nick Shell and you turn off the breaker switch. By the way, the breaker switch, it's funny, every time I say that in these videos, <laughs> the breaker switch is like right behind the camera and I always think that every time. So, if we reimagined the tortoise and the hare, hair loss edition, how would this story go? Well, it'd be something like this. Obviously, the tortoise, the turtle, would be the, the, the guy who is starting to noticeably go bald in his teens and 20s. So, at least in his own mind, he perceives at first that he's going to lose this race of being an attractive male that can get attractive women to be attracted to him and all this, what, whatever, wherever we need to go with that storyline, okay? The perception is, oh, here's the quote, weaker person, it's this turtle. And then, of course, here's the rabbit, it's this guy who just has this perfect head of hair, no signs of hair loss. And we, the race occurs over the next couple of, the next decade or so, that's when the race occurs. And here's what happens. The guy is now 20. He's losing so much hair, he's just shaving off his hair. He joined the gym, he's staying in college, he's getting an education, he's, he's got a career path going. And he hates it that he can't have hair because he's way too young to lose this much hair. But he keeps working out in the gym, he continues his education, he really finds something he's passion, passionate about. And he's able to actually set up a pretty good career for himself in doing that. He's really planning on his future. And it is sad that he couldn't have his hair for the ride, but the whole process taught him to be a stronger person internally and psychologically and not to depend on hair, which wasn't going to help him long-term anyway to accomplish what he wanted to do. Now, as you can obviously see, the rabbit in this situation over this 10 years, 15, 20 years, he still has his hair. He's pushing 40, he still has all of his hair, no signs of hair loss. He never had to worry that people will perceive me as unattractive because I'm losing my hair. He never had to worry about that. But now that he and the turtle are the same age, they're coming up upon their 20th high school reunion. And it is true that at this 20th high school reunion, the bald guy who has been bald most of his adult life, because imagine by the time you were at your 20th high school reunion, that means you're 38 basically. So you've been an adult for 20 years at that point. So this turtle in the story, most of his adult life has been balding and is now for all practical purposes bald. He's Norwood Five at his, at his reunion. And yeah, people notice that when they see him, they, if, they, if they haven't seen him since I said, oh yeah, he's one of, the, of us that lost all of his hair. Yeah, but did you hear, did you hear what he's up to these days? Yeah, do you know how much money he makes? Did you see his wife? I mean, 
man, he seems like, and he's, he's actually happy. Like, he seems genuinely at peace. He's very confident in himself. Man, I envy that guy. That's the turtle. And now we're going to talk about the guy who kept all his hair. So yeah, I mean, he actually, he went to college too, and he kind of skated by, he got a degree, but he never really found a good career path, so he never just really figured out an identity for himself. And I mean, he was fun, good looking guy. He dated several girls along the way, married this beautiful girl. Man, she was, she was awesome. It didn't work out though. It, it just, they just, it didn't work out, and they, unfortunately, they got, they got divorced. They had a kid in the mix, it was just a real tragedy. But things are looking up. He's, he's, got, he's with somebody else now, and, and things are really picking up for him. He's gonna be putting the pieces back together. He's going to be all right. Okay, so that's my own rendition of the tortoise versus the hair, hair loss edition. If you've watched my videos before, you already knew everything I was going to say. That those of you, I can't say us because I am almost 40, and I am coming up upon my 20th reunion for high school. But for those who were forced to deal with hair loss at a young age, you're forced to become stronger and to know who you are younger. That's an advantage you have. You have a better sense of identity if you choose to be victorious and not be the victim. It, you're forced in that situation. Whereas the guy who never has to deal with hair loss, he never has to deal with hair loss. He never has to think about that. And that's one less thing that could keep him from really building up his own identity and confidence aside for something so superficial as hair. Now, I know this is largely irrelevant to a lot of people watching this video because you don't care about your 20th high school reunion. You don't care about your 30th birthday. You don't care about those things because it's in the future. But if you can imagine, in my mind, the 1998-1999 school year, it really wasn't that long ago. Yet that's my senior year of high school. And what's funny is how irrelevant things were in my life when I was a teenager, when I was in high school and college. I mean, yes, it was still kind of the foundation of who I am, but all the things that I cared about and that were important, pretty much none of that matters anymore. So imagine you have the rest of your life, but you're focusing on these next couple of years as hoping that or assuming that hair loss or the lack of hair loss is going to help get you through it. If anything, I can see it as a hindrance. You're actually better off to be the turtle who's forced to come to terms with your identity besides your hair. That is Nick Shell's rendition, the hair loss edition of the tortoise versus the hair. If there's anyone that possibly agrees with me or can appreciate this perspective, I'd love to hear it. I expect more dislikes than likes in this video. I expect that my age and experience alone is going to separate me from my viewers and that this whole wisdom nugget just gets soggy, left out in the rain, just no good, just pointless. No one even made it this far in the video. I'm just going to turn it off, but you can leave a comment right here.